Welcome back. I'm Peggy and this is LiveInRetirement.com and today I'm going to be talking about biking in four different ways. The first thing is the benefits of biking and there are a lot of them. The second thing is some stuff that you'll need for biking and then some cool stuff that you'll want for biking. The third thing is planning and executing your trips. And then the fourth thing are some safety tips. First, the benefits of biking. I have loved biking since I was a kid. And it's a sport you can do for your whole life. You may have an electric bike to assist you, but you can do it for your whole life. So what are the benefits of biking? The most important benefit is it makes me happy. Uh, I don't know what it is, the endorphins, the outdoors, I, I'm not sure, but biking just makes me happy. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit is great cardio workout without any impact on your body. It's a very low impact exercise. And if you think about it, these are the things that when you have knee surgery or anything like that, the first thing they'll say to you is go to a gym and get on a, a, a bike and start pedaling because there's very little impact, but it gets your joints and body moving. The next benefit is it also helps your balance. Unlike a stationary bike at the gym, you really can help with your balance. So those are the benefits. Okay, so the second big area we'll talk about is stuff stuff you'll need and the stuff you'll want. Let's first talk about the stuff you'll need. The first thing you're going to need is water. And I usually just have, most bikes come with a water holder. I have a big nice one. It's Cathermo. It keeps the water nice and cold for me. The second thing you'll need is a helmet. And this is a called a nutcase helmet. There's several different designs. You can see this one I have that Eric has. It just lets you express yourself a little bit. The next thing you'll need is an air pump. These are really pretty easy to use. They're almost foolproof. Um, any brand will do. Um, and just make sure that you look on your tire for the amount of maximum air that you can put in. But I, you're supposed to look at your air every week. I check my tire level every week and it's usually down about 10 pounds. So don't go on on your bike without, you know, at least checking your... The last thing you'll need is a little bike oil and any kind is okay. This is called rock and roll. This is what my bike shop recommends. The only time you should do it is when your bike chain is shiny, bright silver. It seems counterintuitive, but that's the way it works. So you want it to have a black look to it, greasy, dirty almost. And when you apply this, you put it on and then you wipe it off and then do it through the whole chain. Okay, now for the cool stuff you'd like for your bike. This is where you have all kinds of, there are so many different things you can get. But for me, here's some key things that I have. Number one, I have a mirror on my bike so that I can see who's behind me. I'm always freaked out about somebody's going to get me. So it's one of my things, but also it's a good thing to look before you pass somebody to make sure nobody's coming up from behind you. The second thing I have is a little speedometer. It tells me how fast I'm going. It tells me how many miles I'm going, etc. Okay, the next thing I have is a little bell. You don't need that, um, but it is kind of a cool little thing to tell people that you're coming up behind them. You can always use your voice, so we'll talk about that in the safety tips in a minute. The other thing I have is a cell phone holder um, where I can play my music and um, call people if I need help or anything like that. I also have these cool little bike cages and um, I have taken off the straps. I know I'm probably should not have done that, but everybody, I'm sure I'm going to get comments on that, but uh, I take them off because I like to be able to take my feet out quickly if I lose my balance or anything like that. Um, but I, they, they still give you the same benefit, probably not the same exact benefit, but 
they give you a close benefit, which is you can pull up. You can push down and then pull up, which gives you more power and it makes it easier to um, pedal and push forward. So I really like the feature of it. I just didn't like the straps. And the next thing is this cushion. I absolutely love this seat cushion. The reason I use this seat cushion is because I absolutely hate those pants with the cushions because I feel like I've got a diaper on. I absolutely hate the look of it. I, I, don't, I feel like I'm walking like this. I, I just hate it. I also have um, gloves. These are my summer gloves and my summer gloves have short little hands like this. I also have the longer pair for winter. Um, but you can see I always get a big thick pad. Some of them don't have any pads, so make sure you get some with pad if you're gonna if you're gonna buy them. Do that. The next thing I have is this um, bolero, and this protects me in the sun. It's cool. It's light. It's easy to put on, um, and it's by uh, it's called Desoto Skin Cooler. Now this is the best one I've had. It's expensive. It's like forty five dollars each. Um, but I just absolutely love it because it's cool and when you sweat it wicks and it, it, it cools you down really really well. The next thing I have <laughs> I told you I had a lot of gadgets is um, mace and again because I always think somebody's after me but you know, it also protect me from any kind of animal that's after me you know whatever the case may be. It, 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 short story it makes me feel better and I just clip it right here and off I go. So that's a nice little thing. And then once you get really serious, like I said, it never ends. Um, I've got this little backpack I uh, we attach it uh, into onto my bike. And I got the cheap version and I just put a little bungee cord around it. You can buy really expensive ones. So what do I keep in there? I've got a bike lock, which I think is key for everybody. And make sure you get a nice thin one, light one. Those big heavy ones will just weigh you down. It, you can really feel the weight. Um, of course, here's our bungee cord that straps it on. I always have some money. I've got some extra tubes. Um, I've got suntan lotion in here. I mean, you know, it becomes, it becomes a purse, basically. Um, but it's a great little um, pack for a you know, short day trip into town and so forth. And then what I do is when we lock our bike, I just take it with me like a purse. You know, it's got a little strap you put on it and, and off you go. So it's just perfect. And then if you really get serious, I've never opened these, but these things come down into big, two big trail packs, you know, if you were going on an overnight thing or something like that. I also have a light here. Um, that I use and I also have a light for my helmet so that when I go on night excursions sometimes we do some um, night trips into the city and do different you know events and things like that another thing you may want is a bike rack it helps you expand outside your neighborhood and get to really some really fun interesting places put your bikes on your car and off you go to various assorted places. We went to Assateague Island and brought our bikes with us and rode all over that place and just had a ball. You can do it in your downtown, in your city, at your lakes, whatever the case may be. But a bike rack's another one that is a nice thing to have. So that's all the, the stuff you need and all the stuff you may want. Okay, now the third big area is gonna be very short but I think it's important because when you're just starting to bike, the first thing I would recommend is that you scout out a little standard route for yourself and don't go crazy. Do a couple miles, have it be flat, maybe have one hill in there or something like that and have it be a pretty ride, something that you'll really enjoy. And then you can expand on it as you get more and more comfortable. So that is one of the key things I would tell you um, about starting off on your bike ride. Like I said, I started off with one to two miles, three to four, now I'm up to 30 miles and I keep expanding and going into different places and areas and, and I hope you will too. And the other thing I wanna tell you about is the proper stroke. And I, I didn't really understand this. <laughs> When you were kids, you just jumped on the bike and went. But I wanna make sure that we're protecting our knees. So the very important thing about stroke is 
that when you take a bike stroke, you're pushing down with your heel. So down with your heel when you're going on your bike and then pull up, okay? So if you don't have your cages, just the biggest and imp most important thing is to push down with your heel. So if you remember nothing else, push down with your heel, it'll protect your knees. Another benefit of biking is that it's very social. I belong to a group that is just really a fun group of people. Uh, I found it on that meetups.com. They love biking as much as I do and they have all kinds of different adventures that we go on and I just love it. It's very social. We stop, we talk, we eat, we do all kinds of stuff. So uh, again, very social as well. And the last thing are safety tips. And there are four big things, and I, the way I'm going to have you remember this is it's called slay. You're going to slay this biking thing. So the first thing is S, slow. Just remember when you go around corners, go slow. Don't go the same speed when you're on a straightaway, just like when you're in a car. Go slow around corners. The second thing is look look for stuff on the ground okay so if you see sand if you see water if you see a hole if you see uh, a big stick avoid 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 okay or go slow 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 through it so go slow and look for stuff the third thing is a automobile that's what that means the how you drive safely with your car is the same way you should be driving safely on your bike. So when you pass, you look behind you, all the same safety rules apply as if you were in a car. Don't pass somebody on a corner, or don't pass somebody on a hill. Make sure you can see all those basic safety rules that are in a car, same thing. The fourth safety rule is why, yell, okay? And that means that you should yell when you are coming upon a blind corner. These are the terms I use are biker coming around the curve, biker coming down the hill, biker passing on the left, biker, you know, whatever. So yell those things out. You don't need a bell. In fact, it's even more effective yelling. So that's it. And I hope something here has helped you live your best retirement. And if you have any other tips or ideas on biking, please join the discussion on liveinretirement.com. Let's talk. We have a Facebook group called Live in Retirement. Let's talk.